Hi, my name is Kimberly, and welcome to Kimberly Sandbox. Back in 2015, I decided I was going to figure out a way to be able to liberate my life so that I could travel and feel like I was truly living. And after one hell of a year in 2020, 2021 came, and everything came together. So steep. It, it is definitely a climb today. Don't get it wrong. Ray! Ray, you can't give up now! Just another 10 minutes, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ray. I, I, I have five minutes sleep. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is Emma. You guys have met Emma a few times in the video. Hello. But I wanted to give you a heads up because she also has her own YouTube channel. So, Emma is from France. And if you would like to brush up on your French speaking skills and see her view of Koh Samui, please go and pop in on her YouTube channel. And I'm gonna go ahead and provide that link for you. So support, okay? Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Help us, help us please. <laughs> Just a few more expletives. This is really hard, you guys. This is like beastly today. And we are going that way. Reminds me of song. So. You can zigzag now. Want to go that way? That way. So Tom has just dropped his. Uh, what? How many f bombs was that for you, Tom? How many? <laughs> Six yeah. <laughs> and we are going up there. Hillary's step, it feels like. <laughs> This is uh, about three weeks now that Dave has been gone. And um, at first, it was kind of fun because it was like, okay, I get all my own time and I can do things the way I want to. And it's quiet. And uh, now it's getting a little old. So what is the story of Dave and I? Well, Dave, I actually met him through my cousin. Um, my cousin and I went to party hop at her college one night with a friend of hers. And as we were crossing the worst street in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, um, 
um, in that college area. Uh, me and my cousin and her friend stopped on the sidewalk and there was this vehicle coming up the road and we weren't sure if they had been drinking so we weren't going to cross the street and come to find out the person that was in the vehicle uh, was Dave driving he actually stopped to let us cross the street and my cousin looked in the vehicle saw it was Dave and knew him from her English class and apparently they had attended a party and swallowed a goldfish together. <laughs> had a bonding moment over that. But I could see Dave, he had gotten out of the car to give Michelle a hug. And I could see him looking over the roof in his, he was driving a tracker, so it was a little bit higher. He kept looking over the roof at me. And, um, what does my cousin do? She gets in the car and drives away with him. <laughs> They went to go drop his friend off at home. But she, of course, she was coming back. They were just chatting the whole time. And I went into this party with her friend. And as soon as he came through the door, he saw me, looked right at me, in my eyes, came over and sat right down next to me. I was playing cards with some people there. And the rest is history. So I met Dave in the fall of, oh gosh, 91. And we got married in 93. So we've been married for quite a while now. We've known each other for quite a while. It's always one dog, you know, you're like, go away. So um, anyway, so Dave and I have known each other for a really long time. Um, and I mean, every marriage has their ups and downs, but I will say that we have, I mean, when we got married, we definitely were very committed, determined people. So that has really just kept us together through all our trials and tribulations that marriages have. We're extremely stubborn. Um, yeah, so not having Dave here is hard because Dave is really like my best friend. We do everything together. Um, very little that we don't do together. Um, whatever we're doing, we're involved in each other's business. We know what each other's doing. Um, we're always talking to each other about different things and it is hard not to have him just readily available to chat with. It's been super quiet at the house and um, I find myself talking to my dog Bella quite a bit. Uh, I talk to her about different things and she doesn't answer me, she, of course. <laughs> She just kind of looks at me when I talk to her like, what? What's she saying, Mom? But I'm so thankful that I have her here. Honestly, I mean, I feel rather safe at the house. I, If anybody even came close to our gate or in our area at all, I mean, she would just bark away. She's an excellent guard dog. And she's very protective, so... I have no doubt um, that she would keep me safe. It's so pretty out here. I've been hiking with these guys now since probably the beginning of August. And I've really gotten to know so many of the crew here. It's just so nice. To have a network of people that I can connect with and I'm really starting to establish some good friendships here and it, it's just something that everybody needs I mean if you're in another country 
it's very it's very difficult definitely to be away from your own country and the things that are just what you know what are what feels natural to you and I was thinking about how awkward I feel sometimes just leaving the house like driving down on the opposite side of the road even just going to get my laundry done um, not even just having it done if I go to do it myself there's a process for that I have to get the tokens I mean I just got to look how many bought it's gonna be I mean little things like that it shouldn't be stressful but sometimes it kind of is because like it's just different than what you know right so you do you feel kind of So my friend Julie has brought a friend along today. He's from Turkey and uh, it looks like they're dating and it's exciting for her, uh, for sure. She looks so happy and she's like beaming and I don't think he speaks a lot of English. He seems very sweet though and he's such a trooper coming out here with her today because this is not easy by any means to do this type of hike. Um, so it's exciting. It's fun to see new love blooming, isn't it? The mosquitoes are out in full force today. I have like so many bug bites. I've been spraying myself down with the repellent. Oh my gosh, I like bite my ass right through my, right through my pants. It's like, what the hell? Look at that cool tree down there. Check that out. Zoom in on that. Look at that. That's wild. Wow. That's a big tree too. It's like just shooting up from the jungle area. So cool. Yeah. Dave and I, we drive each other nuts. But we wouldn't have it any other way. I think most couples feel that way that have been together as long as we have. I mean, gosh, we're talking next year, like 30 years or something like that for us, um, of knowing each other more than half our lives at this point. So yeah, we do. We drive each other nuts. I have my quirks. He has his quirks. I have things about me that irritate the crap out of him and vice versa, trust me. Um, but yeah, he's he's it for me. We both know it. We both know that we're not going anywhere. And I guess I mean that's pretty special to have that nowadays. Cuz a lot of marriages don't last these days at all. That's for sure. gorgeous breeze up here right now and I'm glad we have the cloud cover again today a little bit of sun peeking through but really a great day it's warm but manageable Now uh, this uh, hike today, um, when Rachel and Paul did it, it took them about three and a half hours, but I mean, they were definitely going fast, as fast as they could. Uh, it's probably gonna take us a total of five, maybe five and a half to get completely back and around to our vehicles. So definitely a decent hike today. 
Uh, the first half of it was pretty brutal. All the climbs. Now this is just kind of gentle climbing um, in some flattened areas as well. Uh, so not bad now, but definitely it's a good distance today. Probably be, I would guesstimate maybe 12K today. Probably be around what, eight, eight miles or so? Um, yeah, I didn't wear my GPS watch. I kind of forgot about that and I didn't use my Strava or anything. But glad to be out here just the same, getting this exercise in, enjoying it with great people. I can't think of a better way I'd like to spend my Sundays for sure. So Rachel, it feels like we're on a pilgrimage. We are. <laughs> just like the never ending hike. Yeah. You just keep going and going. Keep going and going. And, and you know, going. Rachel's awesome company because like, I can talk to her about all my aches and pains and she, co she totally relates to that. Yes. <laughs> same age, yeah. same ailments. Yeah, yeah. So we both, we're both like, ouch, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, the thing is, and we've got to give ourselves some credit here because there are people that, like I said, a third of our age yeah. that would not be out here doing what we're doing right now yeah. and would definitely be suffering a lot yeah. more than us because the post on the fitness page, is not they there. think we're like crazy. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, well we kind of are. Well, oh well. It's it's just right? to sit around and die. <laughs> you know they say, get living or get dying. Isn't true, that? true. Shaw Shank quote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it it's out. a kind of a suffer fest, but we're we're yeah. all right. We're 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 liking it, we kind of. Like self masochism. Half, two and a half k. Okay, not two bad. bad. Eh, now okay. the downhill pain really uh, begins. <laughs> yeah, downhill sometimes the downhill is worse. Oh. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, all this stuff. Oh man. <laughs> Hitching a ride down. Uh, his knee was giving him some trouble, so he's got a ride, and so did his wife. So good for them. I wouldn't mind hitching a ride too. <laughs> My foot is screaming at me, but I'm gonna suck it up. coming down now and this is definitely doing its number on the toes and the quads but we're almost done almost So we have beaten the crew 
Just me and Rachel here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we ran part of this as well. It just got to the point where just like walking downhill became just more of a torture fest. So we decided to just run part of it and uh, I'm glad it's over. Oh. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's uh, all worth it in the end. Yes. And that swimming pool is going to feel good. And yeah. that's what I'm going home to do. Let my dog out and then Thank shower you. and then eat food. Yeah. food. All right. Happy catch food. you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.